Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. The Bible says in Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 1, the Lord said unto Ezekiel, son of man, it's the scroll. Go and preach to the house of Israel. Today, I want to declare the whole counsel of God. Turn with me to the book of 1 Samuel chapter 1. I'll be reading from verse 9. It said, Once when they had finished eating and drinking in shallow, Hannah stood up. Now Eli the priest was sitting on a chair by the doorpost of the Lord's temple. In bitterness of soul, Hannah wept much and prayed to the Lord. And she made the vow saying, O Lord Almighty, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. This is the Lord, the Lord, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. The Bible says in Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 1, the Lord said unto Ezekiel, son of man, eat the scroll, go and preach to the house of Israel. Today, I want to declare the whole counsel of God. Turn with me to the book of 1 Samuel chapter 1. I'll be reading from verse 9. It said, once when they had finished eating and drinking in shallow, Hannah stood up. Now Eli the priest was sitting on a chair by the doorpost of the Lord's temple. In bitterness of soul, Hannah wept much and prayed to the Lord. And she made the vow saying, O oh Lord Almighty, if you will only look upon your servant's misery and remember me and not forget your servant, but give her a son, then I will give him to the Lord for all the days of his life and no razor will ever be used on his head. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Almighty and everlasting Father, the God from whom all blessings flow, you are the lily of the valley, the rock of Gibraltar. You are the mighty God. In you we live, in you we move, in you we have our being. There is no other God like thee in the heavens above and on the earth beneath. For they that trust upon the Lord shall be like Mount Zion that cannot be removed but abided forever. Father, I'm about to preach your word. I pray that I decrease and you increase in my life. Oh God, like John the Baptist cried. They said, who are you, John? Are you Elijah? Are you one of the prophets of old? But he declared, I am none of them, but I am just a voice that is crying in the wilderness. Prepare the way for the coming of the Lord. Father, I pray that I be a voice to bless somebody watching me on, the, on, the, on, on YouTube right now. I pray that I be a voice to bless somebody sitting in his or her living room. Lord, I pray whatsoever I do will be to the honor and glory of your name. And speak, Lord, for thy servants here it in Jesus' name. Today, I want to bless your heart on the theme, the Lord will remember you. Many of you, you have helped people in life, they have turned against you. You have brought a lady in your house, and now she is sleeping with your husband. You've brought a brother in your house, and that brother today has taken your wife. You, you are in the mood as if you want to kill yourself. Things for you is so deplorable. Things for you is not going anywhere. But I have come to announce to you, you should not kill yourself. You should not be angry. I don't care whether your back is against the wall. I don't care whether people are for you or against against you. The Lord has sent me to declare to you, don't give up. The Lord will remember you. God has a package for you. God has a parcel for you. And that parcel is not from any man or any diplomatic office. That parcel is from the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and the great I am that I am. Oh, somebody just begin to praise God where you are sitting right now watching me. I want to preach on the theme, the Lord will remember you. There is a marvelous story told in the book of 1 Samuel about a family, a man called Elkanah, a man who was supposed to be the priest of his family, a man that got two wives, and this man was Elkanah. The Bible says he married two women. One was Penina. Penina had children. Penina was the woman that had children in the house, and the other woman was Hannah. My Bible declared that Penina, at any time Elkanah want to offer sacrifice, when he want to give gifts to his family, he will give Penina lands. He will offer Penina and, his chi and her children. All of them will have their own property. Hannah will only have one. The man will come to Hannah. Hannah, you know I love you. Hannah, you know I care for you. Oh, why are you so downcast? Why are you so depressed? Why are you so frustrated? 
Many of you, you've been rejected in your family. You are the eldest in the family, but because you are poor, nobody cares about you. You are the eldest in your family. Because you are down, they see you like an ordinary man. Even when they discuss family matters, when you want to talk, because you are poor, nobody listens to your statement. Nobody listens to your contribution in the family. But I want you to know that they have forgotten you. They've placed you in a place where nobody wants to think about you. But this word of God will challenge you today for you to know if man forgets you, God will remember you. If your boss forgets you for promotion, don't blame yourself. God will remember you. If your friends forget you for because you are, you are progressing, don't give up. God is ready to take you. And the Bible says, this man Elkanah will talk to his wife Hannah. Hannah, you know I love you. Hannah, you know I care for you. You are the bone of my bones. You are the flesh of my flesh. Don't worry about Penina and her children. Just ignore them and look up to me. But the Bible says, I want to use some illustration in our daily happenings. I know how women talk about other rivals. I know how they, give, they call them names. I know how they do things to them just to provoke them, just to ridicule them, just to molest them. I can see by my eyes of faith, Hannah cannot go to the grocery store because her rival already discussed her name. Hannah cannot go to the stream to fetch water. The Bible says Hannah was so depressed to the point that he cannot eat. I know many of you, you carry certificates, you have all the degrees, but you have no job. You are frustrated. You don't want to mingle with people. Every day you just lock yourself in a room because you are tight. But I've come to let you know, let them say what they want to say about you. Let them laugh. He that laughs, laughs, laughs the best. God is ready to remember you. And when the Lord is for you who is gonna be against you when God has lifted you up who is the enemy to put you down that's why the Lord has brought me to blow the trumpet in Zion to shoot the gun that start the race somebody begin to praise God with me I feel like preaching her somebody shout hallelujah yeah praise the Lord and the Bible said this woman Hannah Hannah cannot eat at all the woman refused to eat because of all what this woman the rival was saying about her I can see Hannah sitting at the place crying. The husband will say, Hannah, I love you, my darling. Please eat something. It is late for you now, Hannah. Please eat something. Hannah said, I cannot eat. My heart is not sweet. My rival has spoiled my name. She has smeared my name. When I go to the grocery store, people will laugh at me. When I go to the stream to wash my clothes, people will laugh at me. I believe Hannah will say, let our God arise. Let our God arise. Let all his enemies be scattered. Let our God arise. And I will sing. God, what have I done? I love my husband so much. It is not my will that I cannot have children. I love my husband so much. When I was in that wedding day, I said to God, for better or for worse, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. Hannah went to the church to pray. Hannah went to the church. Hannah did not hold it against her rival. She went to the church, and the Bible says while she was praying, her lips were moving, but her words were not heard. The first encounter she had was with the pastor of the church, who was supposed to encourage her, who was supposed to bless her. The pastor was mad with Hannah. She, he accused Hannah of being a drunkard. How many times have you not been accused negatively? Look at Joseph. He was sold by his brothers. Joseph was sold because of the coat of many colors. He was sold because of his dreams. He was hated by his own blood. Let me tell you, friends, the Bible says in the book of Micah that a man's own enemy are those of his household.